Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me here in Sydney, Australia. We are at Nielsen Park. I seem to be sitting in a cave. I'm in a bit of a cave. I will, when I finish the report, I will turn the camera around and I will show you exactly where we are. And I might edit a bit of that into the start so that you can get a feel for where I am today. I'm by the beach, I'm by the ocean, and it's just beautiful. It's much needed after the hectic month that was last month. And I really hope that, um, that you guys didn't have too challenging a month. Some of us did, including me. I had a very challenging month, and that's why this month I'm late on the report. So number one, I'm completely late. I never release um, a report this late. I'm releasing, I'm recording this on the 1st of July. The other thing is that there will be no mini breakdown. I just didn't have time to look at every single chart individually. I have transit charts. I've got an Aries moon chart, a Taurus moon chart. I go through all of them. I write my notes. Um, I haven't had time to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the news quickly and then I'm actually going to do a special overview of last month in review and talk about what happened to me personally last month. In case any of you are interested, you can tune in for that and see what I discovered astrologically, see what I learned um, spiritually and in other ways as well. So I'm really hoping the sound works here in this weird cave-like situation. We've also got the dripping of water, which I'm hoping doesn't land on my camera, but who knows. Um, there's a drip there and one there, and there's like a whole sea out there, so I'll show you where we are. It's quite fascinating. I just needed to be by the ocean. I needed salt water, I needed calming, I needed, you know, a bit of relaxation. I'm going to film some of that and give that to you as well, because I'm sure some of you out there would have had a challenging month too. Um, if we take a little look at the news uh, in review, a bit of a news matchup, which is something I like to do at the start of these reports. Trade war, US-China. Last time I called my monthly report, trade wars. And I don't even know what I'm calling this month's report. I've had no time to think about it. But I was right to call that one trade wars because there have been a lot of articles in the news about that. Yesterday, I Google searched trade war, US-China and there were 453 million results that came up in Google straight away and the most recent article was like 22 hours ago so they just keep coming this is a really big news item right now um, the tension last month was really high for an out-and-out -out war don't know if you guys saw some of the, the news articles about I think there were oil tankers difficulties various things happening there was some um, Trump calling off the missile strike 21st of June that was amazing now Mars and Mercury were in a war at that time a planetary war a planetary war in Vedic astrology happens when we've got planets within one degree of each other and some teachers will say that the higher will be the victor and some people say that the lower will be the victor now the way I was trained it's the lower but it's really interesting I had a look on the 21st of June Mercury in Cancer, I believe, it was Mercury in Mars, Mercury won. You know, look at that, logic and intelligence and, you know, I guess a, a, a calm measured response, you know, call, let's call this thing off, you know, there's been enough of a threat or scare, I suppose. I'm not too sure, I haven't looked at the news in depth uh, in regards to last month, because you'll see later in my report, I'll be telling you why. I haven't had any time this month. Dates of note. So let's take a look at the month ahead. What do we have happening this month? Okay, this is an easier month. We can all breathe a sigh of relief. This is an easier month, everyone. I'm counting on it being an easier month. Well, look at that, we've got a plane overhead. So I've got waves, I've got a plane overhead, and I'm in a cave. I have no idea if this sound is gonna work. I've got my fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I, I really need an easier month. Uh, last month was so hectic and it kind of freaked me out as to how real and accurate astrology is. Astrology is very powerful and accurate and we love it when it's telling us good things. But we don't love it so much 
when we have to go through hardships or suffering, it's, it's, that's very difficult. So um, I'll, t I'll tell you more later. So this month we have an easier month. Um, I've got a note here, take time out if you can. We need to chill out, okay? And that, that is for sure. Everybody needs to, to rejuvenate a little bit after the month that was. Um, 7, 8, 9 July, we've got planetary war happening again, Mars, Mercury. So this is in Cancer now. Um, Mars is debilitated in Cancer for the whole month. So is, is that good? So I've got a couple of things. We've got planetary war and Mars debilitated. Which I want to talk about first. I mean, I will talk a little bit about the Mars debilitation because it's really interesting. Some people say Mars is exhausted. Um, and I, I feel that. I personally feel exhausted. I am burnt out. You'll see if you go to my website, I've taken down my reading options. Again, I'll talk about that in the later half of this report. Um, so there's that concept of Mars being exhausted. There's the concept that I know, which is Mars being frustrated. You know, Mars is that energy in us, that drive within us to do, to, to go ahead to build, to create, and I think this month there's a bit of a theme. Some of us are going to be feeling like, I'm just trying to get ahead and I can't, you know, and if that's the case, do nothing. And I'm this month going to be the poster child for burnout and do nothing. I'm I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm not doing anything this month. I have just, no, no more. I'm not doing any more. I'm taking the month off in a way, ish, ish, right? I'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, let's go back to the planetary war. So 7, 8, 9 July, planetary war, Mars, Mercury and Cancer. Tension on the home front, uh, domestic scene. So in your personal life, it could have something to do with your home. In terms of the broader political scene, we've got Brexit, we've got, you know, this US-China um, trade war. There's all kinds of things. I think countries are going to be looking within. And I think they're going to be wanting to sort themselves out or, you know, and Mercury, of course, being in retrograde, there's going to want to be review, um, you know, re-looking at old things, old ground, right? We're going to be covering some old ground. So, so I think the focus for this month is going to be a more internalized looking within, being more domestic. If we're dealing with a country, it's not going to be so much uh, interaction with others. It's, it's going to be domestic sort of politics and that kind of thing. We've got 8 July to 1st August, Mercury is in retrograde. Yeah, I mean, that is, uh, we know retrograde. We know what that's all about. It's interesting, I really need to buy a new laptop. And I think I'm going to wait until Mercury retrograde is over. I'm not taking any chances. I've heard too many stories. Mind you, I know people who've bought cars and things within Mercury retrograde and they're perfectly fine. You know, so. Oh, I think we've got a little one playing in the sand. Uh, let's have a look here. 24 to 25th July, we have Venus and Mercury in war. Oh, I might just hit the pause button because we've got we've got a little one here. Maybe we'll just take a break. See? The universe is asking us to take a break. <laughs> Alright, so 24 to 25th July we've got Venus and Mercury again in planetary war. So another planetary war happening. This is within one degree. Mars is debilitated in Cancer the whole month, we know. And how that manifests for you, are you exhausted or are you just frustrated? You know, maybe you've got energy. Maybe you're one of the lucky ones who's been empowered and energized and invigorated by all this activity. I know for me it was a wipeout, <laughs> big wipeout situation. Um, but some of you will be energized. Some of you will be, um, it, it, it could have built up energy in you. And I have seen that, I have witnessed that. I have witnessed in, amongst my friends and clients, um, I, I've witnessed all that. That some have been on overdrive and some have been just wiped out. 
Uh, Mercury. Okay, let's have a look at Mercury. So yes, he's in retrograde, but I'm saying that yeah, he's not in the best shape this month. And really, Mercury is the one to watch this month. If I was to do a little mini breakdown for all of you, um, I would really be looking at Mercury in within the houses and just talking about my thoughts on you know what he's doing, where he falls for you. So Mercury is the one to watch, and I'm saying that he's not in the best of shape this month, particularly. There's retrogression, there's combustion happening, there's planetary wars going on. I mean, Mercury is, and he's in Cancer. I mean, great, you know. So what I've got the note here is, um, think of a youthful person who has domestic chores and duties but doesn't want to do them. Uh, or, or something along those lines. That's the kind of, the young prince, you know, the young prince who's intelligent and smart and it has to be in his parents house and he doesn't like that parent the moon you know it's that kind of thing and of course the moon yes loves uh, his son but yeah cancer moon moon is the parent mercury the youth mercury's not not in the best of shape this month that's that's what i know for sure we have then the other dates i wanted to go through were the total solar eclipse in ardu nakshatra Gemini, new moon, right? Second, third July, so that's tomorrow. Uh, and full moon, lunar eclipse in Uttara Shada, Sagittarius. That's 29 degrees, 56, right? So that's very, oh, that's right at the end there. Uh, and that's 16 July, and that, I'm looking 16 July, that's UK time. So, amazing. Total solar eclipse, Arvind Chakra, Gemini, Full moon lunar eclipse with Russia, the Sagittarius. So we've got these eclipses going on. What's the deal with an eclipse? I've observed this for years and years and years since like 2008. I've been observing the eclipse thing in a big way. And one of the things that I've noticed with eclipses is that something gets eclipsed out of your life. Um, so certain things maybe that have weak links or that aren't working for you. This could be a time where you lose a job for example. I don't want to wish that on anyone. Um, I know some of my clients have been going through that and um, you know that kind of thing it is I tend to think it's it's for the best really it's it's it's, it's eclipsing something out so, so something better can come in. Um, also weak links, weak relationships can be eclipsed out. I've seen this happen. Uh, one of the ladies that I in London she was a property dealer of all people and she told me this amazing story about how there was a big eclipse that happened and she, um, the love of her life, who was flying from Australia to be with her, he got stuck in Singapore airport and then he flew back to Australia. She never saw him again. I don't know the ins and outs of that story. It sounds pretty crazy that that could happen, but it happened around the eclipse time. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the story. And she's an astrologer. She's a property developer and an astrologer, so there you go. Western astrologer. Uh, but I believe the dates are the same for that sort of thing. So the overall note I have for this upcoming month really is that something of your youthfulness may be feeling repressed, cramped, stifled. You may feel that energies are holding you back and that may be frustrating, um, but if you were one of the people that had a very intense June, uh, just forget about any of this. You probably just want to be recovering, really. You probably just want to be getting over your burnout and getting over what happened. Okay, so now this is the part of the vlog where I wanted to talk about what happened to me because I had a very intense month. And Oh, there's water in my hair. Okay, so this cave thing is like dripping on me. Right. I hope it's not dripping on the camera. Oh, no, it is. Oh, well. Don't worry, I'll take care of it later. Let's keep going because I just want to get through this and then I want to show you, oh my gosh, the dripping. I want to show you where we are because it's really quite beautiful and I just needed to get out today. I needed to come here. So what happened to me? I've even got notes for that. Since about 2016 when I got my Parashara's light software, I have, there's every single day I've looked up the system and I've looked up charts and I've looked up people and I've looked up clients and I've looked up famous people like I'm watching someone on TV and I open up my software oh what are they like so I love this you can imagine how much I love astrology since 2016 every day I've been opening up my astrology software 
Last month, I probably opened up my astrology software just in the first week. Not even, no, I think the whole month was just a total wipeout and I hardly looked at my astrology software. I hardly did any work, I hardly did anything. I had a total wipeout burnout situation. And I had made a prediction in last month's video that from 11 June to 22 June, things are gonna be bad. I said specifically 11 to 22. And what happened in my life was that, um, well, basically our family, we got the flu and um, it got so bad that my mum ended up in hospital in a critical situation. Um, she was in critical care. Some of you know this and I want to thank you for the kind messages and kind words. Um, my clients, are, I've got the best clients in the world. You guys are amazing. And I, when I started doing this, I never thought I'd have regular clients. I always thought this is the kind of thing that you just get it, your chart done once and then you never get it done again. But no, people keep coming back and I'm just amazed. I love it. I love that you guys keep coming back. Um, and, and my regular clients who were asking me questions at that time found out that my mum wasn't well. And I just want to say to all of you, thank you for being so supportive during what's been a really tough time for me. Um, those of you who found out that my mum was in hospital, many of you wrote me emails of healing and prayers and um, messages of what to do. There's one of you who wrote um, about all the different archangels and I read that email to my mum while she was in the hospital and she was so touched and um, in, in gratitude about that. So thank you to my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful viewers and clients. Thank you so much. You really supported me during this time. So I'd, I'd made this prediction, 11 to 22 June, things would be tough. I think at the start of June, we all got the flu and um, we took mum to the hospital because we had to, I think if we'd have left it one more day, I don't know if I'd have a mum, that's how serious it was. Um, I didn't know what date it was we took her to the hospital. We took her on the 11th of June and she had her final doctor's appointment on the 22nd of June. So for me, it was just like, oh my God, like it was, um, it was, it was really full on. And this, this prediction kind of freaked me out because I was just like, that was so accurate that it was crazy. And when I looked at my chart and I saw where Mars and Saturn were and it all made sense and uh, I, I kind of, I, I'll tell you the truth, I was a bit put off by astrology. I was a bit freaked out and scared by astrology. I was like, I didn't want to look at my software anymore. I didn't want to make any more predictions. I didn't want to touch it. I was just like, oh, I, I need a break from this thing. This is a bit too real. Um, this could be due to the Mars-Saturn opposition, okay? And Mars-Saturn opposition is sometimes known for accidents, um, surgery, emergency room type things. So not only was I, you know, did we call for one ambulance, um, I then, in the last month, my neighbor collapsed and I was by her side waiting for her ambulance. So it's very much around this energy of um, emergency medical things in my life. So, Mars, we've got some more. We've got all kinds of people around here. Sorry, I get distracted. Um, so, we've got Saturn, the Karaka of the eighth house, and Mars and Saturn, Karaka of the sixth house. Uh, the Baba Karakas, if we have a look at those, what, what do the houses produce? Okay, so when there's a Mars-Saturn opposition, you can have that kind of effect. And depending where all of this lands in your chart from your moon, you'll see it. So it's really, really interesting. Um, even I, I've got a note here, I totally forgot about this. I personally had an accident. Um, I blacked out. So I blacked out um, in, in the shower and I got all these bruises and I'm okay now. But um, I myself had a bit of an accident as well. Um, Anita Murjani, I watched Anita Murjani's latest episode. I'm such a huge fan of her work and I do recommend her if there's anything you wanna know about the afterlife, near-death experiences. Well, in her latest episode, she said many people lost their parents within the last month. So that was fascinating. I also had a friend who I emailed and she told me that her dad was in hospital. She asked me as well, what's happening in the stars? She said, um, I know so many people whose parents were in hospital. She said, what's going on? So that's amazing. So if you had anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be really um, interested to know. 
For me, I also had the Mula Nakshatra full moon. I was saying to everyone that that's going to be a big healing full moon. Oh my god, it was absolutely epic. That full moon was major. Um, for me, it brought up a lot to be healed, a huge amount. And one day I might talk about that. I, I don't know if I'll go into it now. What I will say is that for me, it brought up some psychic attack. Um, so I've been dealing with a bit of psychic attack over the last month, which hasn't been fun. And I will do a video about that one day. Um, I've also got to do a video about boundaries as well. So I'll just close by talking a little bit. I'm just concerned. I want to see, are we still recording here? Yes, we are. Good. 20 minutes. Okay. It's about to collapse. I just thought I would say um, before I close, I, I, would have, I was going to talk about psychic attack here and I was going to talk about, but I don't think I'm going to have time. I'll do separate videos. I was going to say, oh, here we go. just have to shuffle. My leg has totally died. Um, I just want to say I probably won't be doing as many videos over the next couple of months. And if you go to my website, you'll notice that I have taken the readings down. The readings that I do take a huge amount of my energy, my personal energy, because I tune into you, I study your chart for several hours before I hit record. Um, I take it very, very seriously and I, I just don't have energy. So you'll see on my website, the reading options are blacked out. I've just put a sign saying, come back in October. So if you want a reading, and some of you have written in the last um, week or two, hey, I want a reading. And I've just written back saying I'm doing them in October. So come back in October. That's when I'll be back in London and I'll be able to work again. And the next, until I get back to London, I don't know how many videos I'll be doing. So I just wanted to let you know that um, I'm going to change how I work slightly. And, you know, I, I kind of need to recharge and replenish a bit. What I will be doing is I will hop on Quora.com, Q-U-O-R-A.com. Uh, I'll put it on the screen. Have a look at Quora.com. I'll be there answering questions for free. And I want to do that because I want to please Saturn. And, um, you know, I, I want to keep working, but I'm just finding it a bit hard to find the space and the time that's needed to do this work well, if you know what I mean. So it's really sad that I have to take the readings down, but um, it's, it's kind of for the best. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll turn this around and I'll show you where I've been sitting so that you can get a feel for where I am. I'll just use the tripod and, and you can see. So I've been basically sitting in a sort of a little cave-like thing here. That's where all the water drips from. You can see up there. Um, but this is my magnificent office today. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's a lovely, lovely place called Nielsen Park. Um, there's some greenery over that way. If you see up there, there's quite a lot of greenery. Hang on, I'll just put it back. Yeah, so you can see this is where I am. Whoops, the camera might be a bit... Oh, I probably messed it up. Doesn't matter. 23, it's gonna, it's gonna cut. Oh no, I think my head's been a bit cut off. Whoops, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I hope the sound is okay and I don't have to do subtitles. But I just want to thank you guys so much for being such an amazing community. I want to thank you for being amazing viewers. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. There is going to be a lot more content coming. I am going to do videos on things like psychic attack and boundaries and um, lots to come. I also want to look at narcissist empath. I want to look at astrology in depth more, get into all these different things. I'm just going to have to put a lot on hold until I find the time and space in order to be able to do my work. So guys, Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.